In July of 2023, the United States detected a breach of numerous email accounts suspected of being hacked by China, according to U.S. state officials. The hack, which is believed to have started in May, allegedly hacked the email accounts of Microsoft and the U.S. State Department. On July 12th, the United States detected a security breach of U.S. government-held accounts, but managed to prevent other breaches fairly quickly, according to the White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. The attack was suspected to be the work of Chinese state-linked hackers, and it was also alleged that the U.S. Commerce Department, including its secretary, Gina Raimondo, and at least 25 other organizations were also affected in the attack, one of these being Microsoft. In a statement issued following the U.S. government revelations, the company said that the hacking group dubbed Storm 0558 forged digital authorization token in order to gain access to accounts on the company's Outlook service. Microsoft contacted numerous organizations and governments that may have been affected and shared information in order to investigate and respond to the incidents. It is believed that some of the organizations and governments affected were primarily in Western Europe. It is believed that the breach occurred through an intrusion into Microsoft's cloud security, which affected unclassified systems. China has denied these allegations, calling the U.S. government the world's biggest hacking empire and global cyber thief. And while they may not be wrong, what is very clear here is that the U.S. government and its private corporations are a lot more vulnerable to cybersecurity than to cybersecurity threats than previously anticipated. And this is not the first time in the last few years that incidents like this have happened. After all, the biggest computer and software companies in the United States are Apple and Microsoft, who largely own a monopoly on most contracts. Numerous other tech companies and businesses like Google and the U.S. government agencies contract with them, and this hack proves that it is just one bug, that, just, that if just one bug infiltrates that software, it's very easy to find a back door into many other organizations. It also goes to show that even the firewalls of protection that the U.S. Empire is supposed to have can be undone by just a few hackers. Whether or not this is the work of China, or just some nerd in his basement having a little jolly good fun, it is hard to ignore that the U.S. Empire is crumbling and vulnerable. As the DPRK ramps up its arsenal and its military and defensive capabilities, and as China is potentially carrying out attacks on very, very clearly outdated and inadequate U.S. cyber tech, the United States will have to grapple with the idea that it is being outranked, outclassed, outnumbered, and just simply out of touch. It is no longer a superpower as it once was during the Cold War, just as Russia itself is no longer a superpower. It is definitely a global power, a great power perhaps, but China is vastly moving into the top spot, both economically and militarily, as the main influence over the world. Something the U.S. will refuse to admit, even as it continues to lose power. And as it does, it will continue to resort to more blazon and wanton acts of pettiness, cronyism, and draconianism in order to stay relevant. It'll essentially become the keffles of the world. You knew that shade was coming. And like Russia, the U.S. will likely resort to more authoritarian means of controlling its population as its power and influence continue to diminish. This is already being seen, specifically in the current state of the Republican Party. If you want a glimpse at what the U.S. will likely devolve into, look no further than, Ru than Florida, Texas, or even Montana to a lesser extent. Enjoy the ride, bitches. I'm Red Peg Nicole. And this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.